What is up, my flawlessly kings and queens? Welcome back to my channel. As you guys can see by the title, we got your girl Chica back in the click today, you guys. And we also got your girl Zanique in the click today, you guys, for the first time. Now, click, I'm just going to say that Zanique was not here for Chica's comments on her Twitter being very disrespectful regarding her daughter and a family member's child that was on a first class red eye flight. And it was just so ignorant, y'all. Like, we definitely, most definitely was going to talk about this because I was not feeling none of what Chica was saying. And I want to get straight into it before I show you guys what Zanique said because Chica was definitely out of line, in my opinion. Let's get straight into it. This was her first tweets about it. The lady next to me who thought it would be a good idea to buy yourself your twin infants first class seats on a red eye flight who just woke me up by bringing your screaming to our seats to soothe her. I just bought $34 Wi-Fi at 4 a.m. to call you a stupid bitch. No, 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 no. That is it. Uh, 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 uh. Now, first things first, click. Kids are off limits. Y'all already know how I give it up. If you are my day unos, you know that I do not play when it comes to children. And I think that she is definitely out of line for calling a child a bastard. Like, it don't matter who child it is. You do not talk or speak on any child like that. That was very distasteful. I don't care how tired tired you say you was now before i play this clip of her even saying anything after the backlash i definitely want to continue to read these tweets because they are extremely alarming now click she also said p.s i hate you and i hope you get a paper cut between each finger tomorrow you senseless wench Damn! like are you literally mentally delayed what makes you think a one-year-old will shut their ba up on a seven hour flight that takes off at 1 f and a.m you already had them up past bedtime i don't care the circumstance take your a to economy at least i don't understand why you even did this to yourself this made you look so stupid this made you look so stupid I mean, it really does because you're literally talking about little girls, little children. Like, this is ridiculous. I never understood why people go so hard for children crying on a plane. Let me tell you something. A child is a child. Every child is different. You cannot control how a child acts on the plane. You got to remember the ear pops. Every child is a big kid. The ear pop. Like, shut the up. If you don't like it, you got all this money you in first class then spend a little bit more money how about you do that and you get a private jet if you don't like it call your mama period got me over here tight excuse me what i don't understand it'd be the audacity of people to catch attitudes because a child is crying a child is doing what a child does okay i don't understand that if you got money go get yourself a private jet and you can sleep quietly and peacefully until then deal with it how about you move to economy and maybe have to deal with other things why is it not okay for young children to be able to fly first class because they're crying like that was definitely very much so ignorant click then she kept going she said i am pissed off right now i already had trouble falling asleep and as soon as i do you bring your consequence of your sexual promiscuity into my life i got noise cancellation on and i still woke up f you choke this is why I understood that man in the so is the baby video because F your kids. And she was shaking the baby, y'all, and gripping her arms tight to try to shut her up. But that's none of my business. I'm not CPS. You a lie. Mind your business. Mind your business. Now, click, it looked like Chica ran into some issues and some backlash because it looked like the Twitter was not playing with her. Someone said, sensitive, why are y'all supporting this mentally delayed woman after she showed time and time again she do not have basic respect for black children? She said, you saw the children laughing my A off. I'm sorry, but this was funny. How do you know their race? Now, click, it's clear that she did not know who those children she was talking about parents were because it was actually T.I.'s daughter 
Zanique. And it also was her family member's daughter as well. So yes, Zanique posts this tweet. She said, wait, I'm in tears. Not Chica Boo was mad my child was cutting up in first class. You should have just sat there and been mad, babe. She's Sky, priority AF. Then a fan of Zanique said, Hunt going first class, no matter the hour, hell wrong with her. She said, laughing my F and A off, telling you. Now click, this is Zanique's family member who was actually on the plane with her daughter. She said, you stupid AB. That was me you were sitting next to, so let me enlighten you, dumb they weren't twins. One year old was my four year old. And the other crying baby you're referring to was my niece at Zanique Baby. And she is two years old. You're upset because she woke up three minutes crying out of her sleep like most children and I did immediately calm her by holding her and talking to her because it was dark as hell. I can't believe you are that insensitive when she woke up once on a five hour flight from LA and second off it wasn't your seat from the beginning you switched with someone else and sat your fat next to me and let me express the funk that you brought on top of that. <laughs> Crazy was it was you in my ear saying those girls are so good before she woke up out of her sleep scared crying because it was pitch black and her tv had gone off so she was startled i appreciate all the things you wish for me and i can't wait to see your ass again in person you just mad a woman and two children could afford first class next to a peasant such as yourself you fake in person i know that's right <laughs> Call your mama, period. Now, click y'all definitely let me know what y'all feel about this situation in the comments below. Do y'all agree with Chica? Do you think that she has a justification on children crying on the plane? I mean, I really want to know because do you really get that upset when a child cries on a plane? I'm just so confused, okay? So definitely let me know about that. But I do want to play a clip of Chica basically saying that she does not feel like she was wrong in anything that she said and that she allegedly felt like she would have wanted to unalive herself because she had that feeling before and it was basically like a manic panic. Definitely listen to her and y'all already know I make my reservations and y'all know we most definitely gonna talk about it. Take a look. I know that y'all really want me to give a about talking about an anonymous child that I didn't know and I know that right now it's like, oh, it's a celebrity baby. My nigga, if y'all ain't ranted about a child before, I don't give a if you use the words I did or didn't. No I get it, y'all are pissed, be pissed, that's fine. I'm not calling anyone crazy for being pissed, I know I was real harsh. Sorry, I can't give a f but I know y'all want me out this f and so the devil standards are f***ing crazy. Insanity, y'all get to say anything to me, I f get on Twitter and talk about a random ass baby. And yeah, was I mean? Mm-hmm. Real mean, <laughs> because guess what, a bitch I slept for two days. Now click, it's really her not giving a F. Like you can hear what she's basically saying. She don't care whether it's a celebrity baby or not. She just don't care. And that right there just makes me disgusted with her because it's like no compassion. You are just so rude and disgusting. And I would never want to associate myself with someone who just does not have any type of respect for children period you have got to be one miserable ass bitch to really go that hard on a child that's crying because you ain't get no sleep girl that's the job you chose you chose this life to be an artist you chose to be in the industry most people in the industry does not get sleep that's your business and really and truly it does not matter it does not give you no excuse to disrespect a child and talk down on the mother like that it was just absolutely disgusting i don't care how delirious and tired you have been for two days i don't care you do not disrespect somebody like that and talk about somebody child or a mother like that she has no respect and also I had a uh <laughs> therapy session with my therapist telling that i've had really bad thoughts today and i had to pack my bags and be on the way to be in my city to do this kind of show that i don't think that what i did was wrong i think that what i said was mean and i think that i meant to be mean in those moments because i was like 
if I don't let all of this anger and rage out right now, I'm going to literally have another panic attack on this plane, land at my connecting flight, and do what the f I did last year, which was get off that flight, find the highest point in the building, look down, and be like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to jump. Because that's what the f happens in manic episodes. All I got to say is click. Mental health is definitely real. I'm definitely an advocate for it. However, I don't go around disrespecting people's children and disrespecting people and wishing harm on them and bad things. That is not how you handle your depression or your anxiety or a manic panic, period. And she should most definitely seek help because, uh-uh, that is not it. Okay, y'all let me know what y'all feel about this in the comments below. Y'all can pause the video and read what Twitter reactions work. When it comes to Chica, every time I hear about her, is something with controversy with her being disrespectful and saying some crazy shit out her mouth she needs to change her attitude and switch it up point blank period when you are in the industry you can't say just anything you want keep that shit to yourself keep it moving and make your money sis because if that's really how you feel about people kids then something is really wrong with you point blank period that's my opinion now, this is the last statement that I will be reading before I introduce who's next in the clip. She says, stay mad being upset at a person ranting about an annoying baby that woke them up at 4 a.m. A cute way to make you feel like you're normally, you're morally superior to someone you're literally not. Like I've been saying, I wasn't rude to her and that's what I'm good with. I have the decency to be mad externally somewhere else. My only mistake was doing it on Twitter. I don't feel bad because the response is disproportionate to the mistake but like do your thing internet y'all already ain't like me this ain't nothing new i'm supposed to feel sorry for that bitch. i don't next in the click we got kayla nicole back in the click today you guys now she has not been in a click since she was beefing with the Taylor girls about that go bad b song however it looks like she is back on the scene she actually posts this post basically stating that her and her husband is divorced what Hold up, oh, hold up, wait a minute. Wow. I mean, click, I literally said, wow, she's only 23 years old. She does have two children. That was pretty fast. And obviously from the outside looking in, he seemed like he was a very supportive husband. He may not have had the money like she brought in, but however, he had something that she wanted that she liked and valued because she got married to him. So it's just sad to see that come to an end. However, as seen in this post, she said, I do, I did, I'm done, divorced. And in her caption said, really don't know how else to announce, but I owe y'all an update because my marriage was public. That's all moving on now. Talk to you later or not. No, it wasn't the kids. They happily live with their father since our separation. But in the comment section, as you guys can see, she said, rip me out the marriage. I've been acting brand new. And I, ooh. Now, click Kayla Nicole did go into the comment section addressing a couple things. This person said he got full custody and Kayla Nicole replied and said, no, we share. He just wanted to have them so I could focus and heal. Now, someone did ask, what do you need to heal from? And this is her reply. She says, heal from life in general and stepping back into working. He didn't cheat and I didn't either. Growth wasn't matching and causing so many issues. I was just done, wanted more. Now, click it looked like she was getting a lot of backlash from people. People, and a lot of people were definitely judging the fact that she let her baby father keep the kids. But a lot of people could understand and sympathize with her. This person said, whether she's joking or not, my kids would be with me. She made him and the kids leave. Everyone get out. God have mercy upon us. <laughs> females she found herself someone who wants to help with their kids and now she's going to utilize it so she's a deadbeat nah y'all just used to having pieces of ish in your life y'all mad at her for focusing on herself while her kids are with their father and yet y'all do the same but to your own mom and that's cool to have your kids at your mama's house most of the time so you can do whatever you want but she can't even heal whatever she don't have to pretend to do it all she has help it's their father call your mama Period. 
Can we normalize children living with their fathers? Men just leave women with their kids every day and no one bats an eye. How are y'all so mad she wants to focus on her mental health? I wish I had the option while I was going through postpartum depression. Y'all just want this woman to be miserable and struggle alone right along with the rest of you pick me just because she has a village and you don't. Let a mother leave the kids with their dad. It's a problem, but if it's the other way around, he's trying. I mean, honestly, click, you guys could pause and read what other people had to say. But one thing I really feel about this situation is I feel like it's nothing wrong with Kayla Nicole taking some time to heal and gather her thoughts and get herself back on track to do what she got to do to take care of them kids as well. Now, he does not have full custody. He just lives with the children. It's not like she's not seeing her children. And I think a lot of people judge that situation because they're not used to that. But at the end of the day, listen, when you have a child, postpartum depression is real. There are moms out here to this day who has committed certain situations that should not have happened, okay? And their children is no longer here because they didn't have the support or the help. Now, I am all here for you healing and getting the help that you deserve because we don't want children to be harmed at all. So I think a lot of people are short-minded, one-side-minded, and it's just like, listen, let the girl live her life. Let the girl heal. It looked like she actually went on vacation before she actually posted this and letting everybody know that she was divorced. I say as long as she's taking care of her children and her children knows her and she is in her children's life, it is okay for her to get that space because you don't want her to make anything, any ra irrational decisions, and then her children is not in a safe environment, okay? Mental health is real, and I think a lot of people don't take it seriously, but it is, so I am 100,000% here for Kayla Nicole, and definitely am going to push prayers out that she can fight this depression and get back on track to make that money and be happy within her life. She was young, so most times when you do marry young, it does not last because you're doing it off impulse, you're making, you know, quick decisions, and it is what it is. At least she was married before, she knows how it was. Doesn't mean that it's going to always be that way. It's just at the end of the day, she needs to, to take time to get to know exactly who she is and what it is that she would like to do in life. And that is what it is, okay? Y'all let me know in the comments below what y'all feel about that situation. I'd love to know your thoughts. But next in the click, we got Blue Face Mom, Paulissa, back in the click today, you guys. And it looked like she is just not going to stop when it comes to her trying to push this Keeping Up With The Blues with her little fake channel show that she got going on in her head, okay? Now, we all know she does not have a relationship with Blueface, but it looks like she texts Jaden Alexis because as you guys know, they went viral for going on a date and it looks like they went out again for the second time. And click, I'm not gonna lie, it looked very forced and it just did not look like they were seriously into each other. Honestly speaking, it was just so cringy. Like he legitimately looked so miserable in the club. They was giving each other fake laughs. It was just so cringy and I'm actually really disappointed in Jaden Alexis for even entertaining Blueface in his debacle because as you know he always used her as a pawn to try to get Krishan Rock upset and he was recording her actually peeing in the parking lot it looked so disgusting like it was just really like what is going on like nobody wanted to see that he even called her a ghetto B because he just wants to try to make another Krishan Rock sequel and it's just not fitting point blank period call your mama period now, click, it looked like Carlissa text Jaden and said, you pissing on the flow? She said, we having so much fun, though. We came because yesterday was our 10-year anniversary. Laugh out loud. What? You a lie. <laughs> I, I, I was just... I, are you delusional? I think Jaden Alexis really is very touched up in the brain. Seriously but I'm kind of confused a little bit. Because you got to be a fool to think that you was with this man for 10 years consecutively thinking that y'all have anything else but what he said yesterday that y'all was just effing. 
okay? Okay, so just say how you, so you had an anniversary for a band. He has been in everything and you talking about an anniversary? Girl, you are delusional. I really, I'm very disappointed. The fact that you got a daughter and a son by this man, you are teaching them no value or morals, sweetheart. That is sad. An anniversary? And then you got Carlissa posting this picture of him and her in church. Now, obviously that picture was posted in 2014 and she say happy 10 year anniversary. Y'all better than me, laugh out loud. Keep fighting the fight and everything will be all right. No! Cannot trick me. You cannot trick me. Girl, goodbye. Carlissa is one of the fakest person cloud chasing moms I've ever seen in my life. I don't care what y'all say. This is not normal. She constantly is using her son's situation with Rashawn Rock, with Jaden Alexis. She done argued and did everybody that he was with 30, went back and forth. I just can't with this lady. Like, she just want her $5.99, y'all. Now she says we start filming on the 20th. Subscribe now to get the first episode for $5.99. After that, it will go up to $12.99. Lock the low, low, and today. Girl, bye. Then she asked Blueface and Jaden and said, remember the same folks talked down on y'all, praised the woman who killed three babies back to back and then laughed about it, kicking Javon out. F them. If God loved they sick, A, he definitely loved y'all for fighting to raise these kids. Keep y'all heads up because the devil is beneath you. Then she says, at least it's the same woman for 12 years. Now she also said, it was all fun and games when Arena Bees was posted about stealing the baby daddy, but now it's a sin. Someone in the shade room married now click she then said don't at me it's his body it's his choice do i wish he would be a monogamous relationship of course but if y'all can abort three babies he can have three ladies oh my god corny <laughs> lame boo tomato 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 i'm throwing tomatoes well click i'm glad young miami said it she said girl shut the f up like carlissa people are tired okay even the celebrities is tired of you intervening and nothing that got anything to do with you it is your son's life not yours so you talk about keeping up with the blues blue is your son not you sis mm -hmm. y'all tell me Y'all got all the answers. Miami can't tell you nothing. She likes getting pissed on. Yeah, I was about to tell y'all what come with being a renter. That's a that's a lot of work. See, that's why we got to do laundry. Yes, we do. We got to fix plates of food 40 going north we gotta do a few things but honey we ain't never ever ever gotta let nobody piss on us now that's them bringing come with job descriptions it got a long line of job descriptions under renovation okay you got to take two dildos or it's now hoping ain't no kids in here you got to do peeing on each other you got to put whips and chains on you when you're tired you you are when you are winning that's a full-time job now being a wife it is a part-time job because when they, they go to work we act like we ain't got to do all of that but when you are renting you you on call you on duty you on overtime duty if they weren't pull up with some old people some you rent a hard job i'm trying to tell you, you don't want to sign up for that job and it don't it don't ever expire because once you get on the rented house under the b-list movies you can't really go back up to the a-list movies you got to stay down yonder now click not her calling young miami a rent -B. i just can't and she's the one with the three baby daddies though oh lord jesus help her Woo! Oh, child, are y'all going to subscribe to her for $5.99 on Patreon? Somebody give that lady some money because Blueface ain't helping. Now, click, even Low London has something to say. She said, that girl got money in motion. She can buy a baby daddy if she wants. You have to live a sad A life to wake up and be concerned about what someone 20 years younger than you are doing every day. 
I'm going to pray that evil spirit out your heart. At this point, Blueface definitely get everything that he got going on in his life from his mother because she is most definitely a clout chaser. She's disrespectful and she wants attention. She's an attention seeker and she's never going to stop. A lot of you people constantly keep saying, hey, well, Krishan did it when Jaden Lexus was pregnant. Listen. This is the point at hand. You got two females that go back to back with this guy. Blue's Clues don't even know what he wants to do beyond these two females. He just started putting out music diss tracks towards both of these females. The fact that he said, if a B don't pay, he gonna be selling her dream. What type of man is this? And then you got his mother that backs up every single thing that he does is absolutely disgusting. Considering the fact that she is the age that she's at and she constantly keep on coming on the internet to constantly get attention is sickening that is a problem if y'all don't think she's touched up there i don't know what y'all think it is okay because point blank period this is all a crazy circus nobody's one thing first thing first for me i'm not taking nobody's side what i will say is i am going to support the girl who decide that they want to leave this circus and put an end to this circle because i will truly hate to have to deal with a mother like her y'all let me know in the comments below what y'all feel about this situation i'd love to know your thoughts if you are new make sure you guys are smashing that like button hitting that subscribe and do not forget to turn that post notification bell on so you can be notified when i drop the the click news okay and if you are new again welcome to the click you are my kings and queens i appreciate everybody who support me and those who don't and you continue to watch it's all support trust and believe it all counts and if you guys are not already following me on instagram follow me at cc bad bbw 2w so you can be notified with everything that i cannot post on here it will be on my instagram get me there to 10k let's grow the charts here on youtube at 100k and if nobody told you that they love you today, just know that I love you. I'll see you guys in the next upload. Bye!